undercover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from a top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a sob. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. I don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for us, I suppose. Good call. <laughs> Up and away. So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Shiva's axe. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map. With an axe. And behind door number two. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Let's see what's behind the trident wall. Another old fortress. Just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress. Sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot.
Well, was it worth the climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. <laughs> How'd you get tangled up with Asav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Look there. One of Asaf's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif, like the disc. It should do the trick. <clears throat> there. <clears throat> okay. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. <laughs> nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. It's Fraser! You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. That's it. We're clear. Probably alluded to the others. Can't be helped. Come on. There, on the mountain! Here come the others! Got you. I'm waiting for this. Getting touchy, huh? Ah. Oh. Ah. Okay. We're all clear. It won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over a sob. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. What is it? A shrine? Don't think so. Don't see any deities hanging about. Let's find a way up.
Get down. I see them, but they don't see us. Amazing, all things considered. Look up there. How are you so relaxed? Didn't you hear those gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asav himself. Uh, I'm keeping my safety off, just in case. Mine was never on. Someone took him out. We are not alone. Spread out. What the... Shit! Another one down! They must be close. Huh. Hang on. Watch yourself. Another guy down here. I guess this can wait. Yes, it is. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. Perfect. That should do it. At least. Damn it. See another way over here? Sit tight. Or stand. Stand tight. <sighs> Copy that. <sighs> Beg 
your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. There you are, having fun. <clears throat> Impressive. Thanks. Come on. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysala jigsaw puzzle? Sharama. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> relief carved into the side of that mountain and you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die guess it's good i've got an archaeologist's daughter with me it must have been fun growing up eh? it had its moments i learned a lot hoysala empire was kind of his thing took up a lot of his time though me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort above the waterfalls with the trident. And there's the fort in the mountains sporting the axe. Suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. This is open now.
Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Asav's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. Give me a second. I can wait. Time to go. I'll be right back. You got it. men might be around. <clears throat> Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. <laughs> Is the gate secure? 
Not yet. Not back. Waiting on Let's Cobra just keep this quiet as long as we can. Hang on. Something over there. Check it out. What the? They pulled it up! He's down! down. Get Get him down. That's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. See, I'm thinking about how it could have gone worse. Much more positive outlook, sort of. Okay. Let's go find our giant water faucet. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> no, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go, then. <clears throat> oh, I found one over here. And how about you? That's two. Here's another one. Three down. You. Only one left.
Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. The big wheel thing works. <sighs> Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. Nothing. I'm guessing this one needs to look like a trident. Good guess. Sir? Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. Two out of three now. Marcel well, so I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's... pretty funny. Last stop. The fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname, either. It was my mum's. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun. Teresa, I'm you come in here. Figures. We shall see. Hello, brothers. Where are you? You see, there's the four by four us. Keep coming reinforcements. Figures. Hello, brothers. Oh, go, go. Go, 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 go! What the? They're right there! Well, this should be fine. Ah. 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 Ah.
We're clear. For real this time. You handled yourself on. All <laughs> things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short, controlled burst means. All right. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. One by the mountain right? Indeed. Makes more sense why a sword's after the trust now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the others. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, oh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. Unspoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. I have other things to attend to first. We've got company up ahead. Well, here goes nothing.
got one down over here. We have company. One right. Everyone spread out. Clear. Let's see what we've got here. Shot. The rebels might be here already. Once more, with gusto. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair part. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Well, I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. Yep. Come 
on in. Water's fine. I mean, don't drink it or anything. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. Oh. God, a bit hard on the wrists. I'm weak. I'm smaller than most. Hang on. Okay? Slightly deep, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues, with two different symbols now. Star and rings. They're all voice alarms. I like your descriptions better. Woo! 
Close shave. Okay, what next? Let's make an act. Either. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. There'd be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to think. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. <laughs> I would have made you dodge the axes.
Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Ugh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. I'm just going to take a look around. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. What do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. Ahoy Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this time. Sassy. What the hell? Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place, Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. 
And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? <laughs>